Welcome to this MuScore tutorial on exporting the score. We're going to assume that this score that we have here is the end for now. It's clearly not, but we'll assume that it is. Some things we need to do before printing and giving to our performers is a couple of housekeeping things. Let's get rid of our mixer for now by pressing F10. This risoluto is here in the violin and the horn and the trombone but when the flute comes in, we can assume that that should also be there. It's little things like this that are really easy to miss, so I'll copy Resoluto and paste it there. We also have these empty bars at the end of the score. There's no need for them to be there, so I'll delete them. If I just select them with Shift and clicking and press Delete, it doesn't do anything because Delete is trying to delete the notes or the rest. We need to use Control and Delete. Much better. We also want to return out of continuous view and back to page view to see what this is going to look like once we print it. I'll zoom out so that we can see the whole page. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. There are some things we can fix. The first thing we'll want to look at is in the Format and Page Settings menu. There are plenty of options for how the page should appear, but the most important right now is this Scaling option, which makes the staff bigger or smaller we can see a preview of how it will look down here. This is almost ridiculously large, but let's leave it like that for now. We can also use the stretch function to make music more readable. For instance, this bar here is perhaps a little close together. So I'll press Shift and in the curly bracket, in, in this case the end curly bracket, to stretch it wider, or the beginning curly bracket to make it smaller. I can also do this for the whole score by using Control A to select everything and then adjust all of our stretching. There are plenty more options in the Format Style dialog for how the whole score should appear. For the most part, the defaults in this dialog can be left alone. MuseScore generates individual parts from this main score. Go to File and Parts. And as a quick shortcut, I can click All Parts, and it will make one new part for each instrument that I have in the main score. There are many options here for including two instruments in a single part, or even making parts with only some staves or voices from certain instruments. But you can read through the MuseScore handbook if you need to use any of these functions. Once I click OK, those new parts appear in the tabs here. So I can see the flute part, the violin part, the horn part, and the trombone part. Notice that all of these are in B minor, except for the horn, which is still in F sharp minor. Also important to note is that even if I go into concert pitch in the main score, the horn part stays in its transposed pitch, which is a very useful feature. Another useful thing to note is that these parts are still linked to the main score. So I can make a change here in the violin part, which is now reflected in the, in the individual part itself, and vice versa. I should now adjust the scaling for each part. So I'll go right click and page settings, which I could also do from format and page settings. And now I can adjust the scaling again. I'll increase the scaling and then apply to all parts. Now when I go to the other parts, they've also been made bigger and more readable. On the other hand, we may find that some parts have only a single stave or a single system on the next page, which is just a waste of paper, and we can reduce the size of just that part. Now we're ready to print our parts and score. We can do this individually, by File, Print, or Control and P. But I would have to do this for each individual part. A simpler way to manage this is to export this whole thing as a PDF. So File and Export. It says Export to PDF file, and I can export just the full score, or if I know that I'm ready for all of them, I can export all the parts as well. Each of these will then come out as a separate PDF file that I can send to my conductor and performers. Or I could combine all of these parts and score into one file so that I know that everyone has the same thing.
I'll export that to the desktop. And here is our exported PDF. With the score, and then all of the parts. Notation software like MuseScore is so useful to us because we can hear all of the notes as we're writing them in and play them back to hear what kind of sound we'll get. But it's not just useful to us as orchestrators, it's also useful for our performers. They could listen to the music and learn their parts quicker. I would like to export this as an audio mp3. So again, I'll go File, Export, and this time choose to export to mp3. Here again, the full score means everyone playing, and I can even export individual mp3s for each instrument. Choose my settings here, and export. There are many options if you want to dive deeper into getting better sounds out of MuseScore. There are plenty of sample libraries that are available, some paid and some for free. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to find out more. Now this audio and PDF could be sent over email or WhatsApp to our performers so that they can practice their parts without even printing anything and also hear the end result.